Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone had a great day so far in this video. I'm going to show you guys how to make a kill with the fashion report. Before we continue with this video, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. Now, back to the video. So for those of you who do not know what the fashion report is, it is a weekly glamour contest that you can do to get MGP, or Manderville Gold Saucer Points, is what they're called. All right? You can get a massive whopping of 60,000 MGP every week. But in order to do that, you need a score of 80 or above. All right? There's an achievement for the 100 score, but after that, there's no point in getting 100. You just need to get the 80. All right? In order to get access to the Gold Saucer, the Well-Healed Youth NPC is going to be from the main Aetherite Plaza and Old Odds go straight, and then you should see him with the little Lala with him. I think it's level 15 that unlocks it, or maybe level 30, I don't remember. It's been a long time. But inside the Gold Saucer at X7.2, Y7.3 is where the Fashion Report will be taking place with Revelant Rose from the Weaver Guild being disguised with a Plague Doctor mask, but we all know it's him. All right, so every Friday is when you, the judging begins between 4 a.m. to Tuesday of 4 a.m. is where the window is. Everything after that, unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait until the next Friday to do the next week. Under timers is also the fashion report where you can check what the category of the week is. For this week, it is whatever the weather is. So, here is what you'll be seeing. Every week we get a different slot, which will require a specific gear in order to get the best score. This is the clue that we get, and we have to figure out what gear they're talking about. So, for this week, it's ready for rain in the head, body, and the feet, and striding in stripes for the legs. Now, the only thing that represents rain is the rain gear that is basically very hard to get because the materials come from a very difficult content to get into and that's basically treasure maps. But there is a possibility you guys can get the rain gear itself from the Zad Nora lock boxes. This is in Shadowbringers Save the Queen quest line and it's a whole new area that you guys can access. So those are the ways that you guys can get the, this week's gear. Every week there'll be a different gear that you guys can get. Striding and Stripes, I believe, comes from a vendor in the marketplaces of the three main starter city-states. All right, you basically can, can bottom off them and then check out the price on the market board. All right, if you guys cannot get the gear itself, there is a die option. This means you have to die every single piece of left side gear the correct die in order to get the 80 minimal score. Of course, the dies can range from being very expensive to very cheap. All right, if you need help with any of this, Mioni does uh, Fashion Report Fridays every single week on his channel. I highly recommend that you go and check that out. All right, you also have a Reddit community that also figures this stuff out as well. All right, so for this week, for the die option, your weapon has to be pure white die. The head and the body needs to be blood red die. The hands need to be canary yellow. The legs have to be jet black, which is very expensive. And then the feet have to be blood red. You actually have to get the colors the exact same for each one in order to get the minimal score. Now you don't really need to get all of the left side gear to get 80. I say sometimes you need two out of the three or maybe sometimes you need three out of the four, but it all depends on what pieces of gear you are using. That's if you're trying to get the MGP. If you're just going for the gill, sell what the items are or sell the die. Now, not all the die is craftable, but under others in the special recipes section, you have some of the dies that are available to you. You have to be a level 30 crafter in order to craft these, and you need, of course, the pigments, which you have to be a gatherer to get. 
Some dives will also come from dungeons, but also come from NPCs and even the beast tribes. I don't remember which beast tribes, I think they all have different dyes, and I think the Almalja have the blood red. But you're gonna have to look around to find the specific dyes. Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to a market board and I'll show you exactly how expensive some of these items can really get, including the dyes themselves. Alright, so when we get to the market board, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are in front of the market board, and now let's check out these prices. Now let's first off, start with the rain coat, the head, and the boots. So, the rain hood it goes for 114,000 gil on my server. Someone just bought one just recently for 100k. But as you can see, they do sell quite nicely because they are needed even though these come from the lock boxes of Zadnor they are still going crazy the raincoat goes for 129k and yes people are buying them god knows what this person was thinking selling it for 3400 clearly they don't know, don't really care don't know what they're doing and then of course the boots go for 234,000 and they do sell all right, now for the dye options, we have blood red. Now, even though these are cheap, they do sell. All right, so basically sell them in quantities of whatever dyes are needed for the fashion report. So in this case, I think it's three. So selling them at three a pop can do just nicely until so people buy all these cheap ones out uh, 460 continuously selling them over time can net you a lot of gil all right and now for the high price ones the pure white these can come from the xenor lock boxes as well or the venture coffers that you get from quick ventures from your retainers so pure white gives you 270,000, which is insane People use this for glamour outside of the fashion port as well. As you can see here, they're selling massively uh, expensive and quick. The general black dye is even more expensive. As well, more rare. Uh, 435k, which is insanity. And they sell quite nicely. All right, so like I said, check out Meoni's video every Friday for tips on the gear and the dyes. And I just sold some fragments. <laughs> Fortunately, not part of the video. All right, guys, so that is pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I've been more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys never miss an upload. So until next time, make sure you ever walk on the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys, and get that 80.